All right, we have a sample roast of Jose Pepe Fully Washed Sidra. We're gonna go brew it on the column, Mellow Drip setup. And we got some of the guys here, they're figuring out the EK we're at say. Here's Doug, we're gonna brew and taste this coffee and we'll let you guys know if it's any good. It's a sample, I hope it's good. <laughs> it's Pepe, it'll yeah. be good. Yeah, it'll Pepe be good. Pepe with some TLC from from Brian, yeah. it sounds like a good recipe. Should be good. Have you ever brewed with it? I've never used no. the- Oh, you should get, you got, okay, it's fun. This is the technology here. Oh my God, it's real. Wow. Wow, they delivered. Filters are really cool. They're so small. Ooh. Oh. So we can do some brews of this coffee. We're gonna taste it with a bunch of people and we'll tell you if it's any good. <laughs> the green smelled like fruit salad. Super delicate coffee. Let's see if those uh, appear in this sample roast. Lost origin on the column and then we'll also brew the, the greatest coffee ever, the Pepe Sidra, right? <laughs> oh yeah. I've been brewing with this for a couple of weeks now. And um, yeah, the key thing is to get the seal. So the first brew I made, uh, the brew time was like eight minutes and it was cause the seal broke and the, <laughs> the, the coffee like went outside of it. So what Ray says to do is to like, basically like shift it left and right. Okay, but I find that if you put downward pressure that really helps with the seal. And the idea with this is a low bypass um, no bypass. No bypass. Yeah. Well, no, low, well, low, no. lower bypass. Because at the bottom there's some bypass, yeah, right? Yeah, because it's still a cone. Yeah. But it's kind of mixing both the low bypass stuff with cone. Mm -hmm. So you should get best of both worlds. Well, I don't think the cone, I mean the water, it still oh, is where the water. the water has. Well, it'll go down, right? Yeah, because there's some bypass, I yeah, think, at the, the bottom. Filter, right? yeah, 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 at the, at the bottom. But most of it up here and is then, not. And yeah. this is metal, Yeah. the super tiny paper filters, Glass top for the low bypass. And what are you brewing? We are brewing Lost Origin. So we're gonna brew Lost Origin first, and then we'll brew this one. Yeah. And this coffee will will destroy Lost Origin, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Three. So I went pretty coarse. This was eleven on the EK. Do this right. Okay. So you're brewing 20, 23 grams? Yeah, I brew for myself and my wife, so I generally brew large doses. And I like to go coarse. I find Wait, if I have- 23 is for you and your wife? Yeah. Because 26 is for me. Oh, really? Oh, shit. <laughs> Just to be clear. All right, well, I brew a couple times a day. <laughs> Don't ease into it in the morning. Uh, I, I, I ease into a lot of coffee. I usually like to, like, bloom slightly no, cooler. No, I'm not gonna do the 80. I'm not gonna. <laughs> okay, let's not go there. Yeah, let's. Last time I did my 80 degree bloom, he said it tasted green. Let's okay, fine. Let's mainstream this coffee. What is today. this Fahrenheit? Everyone, you know, real It's just set to the max. Celsius, come on. Highest number, better. Okay, fine. Okay, so. 96 Celsius. So we'll, I like to bloom 95 and then I crank it up. Yeah, I like can. Here we go. So if I did this right, the seal should not break. This. Agitating. Not crazy. Okay. Oh, well, so you get the low bypass oh, and Okay, that's really cool. Wow. <laughs> Hopefully it tastes good. <laughs> the flow is very steady too. So that's what I'm saying, as long as the, the brew bed is over a certain size, it's a no bypass. There's no way for the water to mm. go without passing through. Yeah, yeah, the up coffee here. Coffee bed. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Oh, this because yeah, yeah, the yeah. water can't go outside of oh, this okay. column, yeah, okay. right? So as long as the, there's the seal. Is this going up? Yeah, it's okay. As long as there's the seal, then there's just brew bed. So there's nowhere mm. to, there's no for it to bypass past the the brew bed. At can the bottom it, though, yeah. can it go? Yeah. Can't it go like, like. Yeah. But it's already passed through coffee. Some uh, it's, already passed through, it's already passed through I, I, coffee, okay. so it's not a bypass. It's, I see. It's, it's oh, also for not bypasses. No contact. I got what you're saying. Yeah, 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 bypass okay, means yeah. that it's, it, the water has bypassed the coffee. Right, okay. I want to, this is a geisha. I want to hit the temperature. Okay. Let's wait till 99. Yeah. But it's smelling really nice. This is uh, one of the earlier, or like the, First roast of Lost Origin, if I remember, whenever it dropped. Okay. I think they only did one. Okay. Probably. 
Yeah. These coffees are... It is like instantly sold out. <laughs> it's 250. So I have to pulse it with this thing because, you know, the capacity is limited. But as long as you pulse it, you can do like whatever, you know, dose you want. Even though it's like a mini dripper. And we're gonna get all the mellow drip tools together. <laughs> mellow drip lift. Yeah, we got yeah. the mellow drip lift with the column. Oh, wow. So you're mixing uh, long blooms, low bypass, cattle agitation, and mellow, the controlled agitation. Wow. I love how the water gets clear at the end with this thing. You'll see, it like it's totally clear. What ratio are you brewing to? Uh, this I think I'm pushing eighteen and a half to one. Okay. Yeah. High high extraction. Mm -hmm. Not crazy. Like it should be like twenty two percent. Yeah. Like Twenty five. Twenty five. No, no, come on, <laughs> come on. You saw how coarse I ground it. Those are my brews. No, you don't do 25%. He does, he does 26. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're right to go pretty coarse. I mean, this is already yeah. flowing pretty slow. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is an 11 on the EK. I'm not super familiar with that. I'd like it to run a little faster. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, but the seal didn't break. You can, you can at least see that. Yeah, seal, yeah, seal didn't, seal didn't, didn't really break. Yeah. Strong. Yeah, they just announced Kendrick is performing at the Super Bowl in coffee-related news. I, I At this point, like once you are kind of calibrate your palate to it, I think they taste better because they're just like a level of complexity for me mm. that I taste in them that when I go back to like a V60 from like a Pulsar or a Column to... The V60, like the V60s, they're just, they don't sparkle the way that the no bypass ones. And yeah, and they're so efficient. Like you could extract so much more at the same grind setting. So you can just go so much coarser and still hit whatever EY targets you're looking at. Well, we'll taste it, but usually things are very harmonious and like tied yeah. together. Mm. Whereas like I find V60s more like clear definition, but it's not as, um, yeah, not as harmonious, so it doesn't necessarily taste as... It's, just, it's different, right? It's different. Yeah. Different. yeah. But, there, but I just think the complexity is much more interesting on a, mm. on a no mm. bypass. Yeah, Once, yeah, yeah. But it takes a minute to get used to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. You've trying, never tasted it, yeah. Yeah, like when you're first trying, you're like, oh, this, this is... This is my first no bypass. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. Good. All right. Unless you count, like, well, this will be press. This will be the first <laughs> no bypass they've had that's a conical no bypass. Yeah. It's the first conical on, bypass. On, this is also the first column brew I've ever had. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully it's good. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> if this is bad, don't show up to write, please. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like where you're getting those uh, five to ten minute brews easily, like up to ten, right? If you really uh, wanted to. You could. I try not to. I try to do like four minutes. Okay, we're at this seven. Is, I, so I know. Seven. Yeah, this so is not like, Look at like this is mega extraction. Oh, are you gonna measure it? Yeah, yeah, I'll measure it. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, you guys want to smell? It smells good. I mean, it's okay, sure. Oh, just uh, measuring the extraction yield. Real nerd stuff right here. What do you say the target was? Twenty-two. Uh, I mean, or better. If I get the TDS like in the one four range that will be good I, I i i like very high tds coffee right now yeah so like i'm drinking okay. like one sixes one six yeah one six one seven yeah. those I'll try to clean yeah. this thing the problem with this thing is it's hot here feel it it's like super hot it's metal actually that's Ooh. not bad that's, that's not actually bad. actually yeah, that's not, not bad. bad actually that's not it's bad not what bad happened oh yeah it's all right when well, i hear it's hot or uh, anything near here it's well it's yeah. designed to be done so the way you're supposed to do it is just to take this this off, you take the column off. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's such an that interesting up. looking. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a like a puck. Yeah. Wow. Oh, and then like you see the lines puck. have all migrated to the top because of the low agitation pour. That's really cool. And you see, there's nowhere for the coffee to go. It, it's zero bypass because oh. you can you can tell because you can see where the column is. 
Yeah, and so you can even anything, see where the paper. Yeah, okay, exactly. See, so see. anything around, anything inside the column is has to pass through mm. coffee. So he hit a little one three three on that. One thirty five. So like one thirty five. One thirty five. One thirty five. Okay. That's good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> so that's like on a bl on a blind grind it's setting. Like a yeah, twenty one. Twenty one. Okay. Not 21. crazy. Yeah. It's not crazy. All right. You guys want to try? Yeah. Okay. How do we clean this guy up? Okay. No, you just you just pick this up and you just <laughs> you just you can is you it, just dump is it, it in. Possible to preserve the shape. I'll bring it. Bring it. All right. Leave it. Leave it in here. Here. Okay. I want to see the shape. It's just like a tiny little V60 cone, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you go pick this thing up. And then... Oh! oh. Yeah, that's very satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to taste Lost Origin, and then we will do the Pepe. It has the color of high extraction. Or like the pushed out ratio. All right. All right, cheers. Try it out. Cheers. 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 Thank you for brewing. First column cheers. brew. Cheers. First column brew. Cheers. 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 Pretty delicious. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Oh, it's super, oh, yeah. super tied together. Like yeah. everything is very well tied together. Sweet, round, clean. This, clean. this is that definitely that low bypass, like no bypass flavor profile. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. It's really good. It's like candy, sweetness, mm -hmm. clean. And this is also Lost Origin, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean the coffee you can't. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys taste astringency, or is there any? What do you think? I'm not sensitive to astringency personally, Ooh. so. Twenty five percent. Yeah, exactly. Plus, <laughs> yeah, exactly. so. plus. Yeah, I'm, I I don't mind astringency. I like dry. Anyway, so it doesn't really. That's like one of those things that doesn't bother yeah, me. It's like I'm green like, tea, like wow, astringency, yeah. just a little, but well, it's on the lot of body, so it's not. Yeah. Definitely so really that's the thing is, e this is one to eighteen. Point five yeah. ratio, and it's you get surprising. so much body. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. That's a nice thing. That's low bypass right there. No bypass, low bypass. The, the <laughs> very citrus cool. note is like very interesting. Mm. Yeah, there's like that lavender, lavender jasmine situation going on. Yep. Um, it's yeah, I get clementine on the finish. Mm. Mm. Yeah, right. It's not nice. clementine. As it cools, like I always feel like the citrus. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So lost origin confirmed great coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's. I will drink this every day, gladly. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. This coffee was incredible. Um, yeah, and I'm really happy to be able to taste on the column. And this was, you know, not even a dialed-in brew, and it's already tasting this good. Yeah, it tastes delicious. Yeah, well, that's because you're you're good at brewing, right? <laughs> it's got all the tools. So uh, now let's go and try out this Pepe and see. We're gonna talk about brew. But then, like, if I'm just drinking coffee, Sidra now. Like, but we're gonna we're gonna like use the same minutes, recipe. The uh, but I'll just, I'll attempt to do it. So hopefully it'll be good. Beautiful. Well, now this is a sample of the Pepe Sidra, and you're doing 23 grams. Today. Mm -hmm. It is on the fresher side, so okay. hopefully it'll it'll shine through when we brew it. But maybe we should grind it and let it uh, sit for a little. Oh, that's a great call. Yeah. Oh, we have some tension. EK moment. <laughs> okay. Definitely on the fresher side. Ooh, yeah. How All right. How well, long do you want to rest it? Uh, maybe like five minutes, five to ten minutes. Okay. All right. So if you have too fresh coffee, doesn't hurt to grind it and you know let it sit for a little and uh, let it kind of open up. But it smells nice. It smells nice. It just smells like kind of fresh. Yeah, it smells good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Smell. Fresh. Yeah. Very and fresh. Floral. That's pretty. Yeah. Very floral. Ooh. It smells good. Yeah. Very floral. Yeah, mm -hmm. floral, fresh, um, clean too. Very clean smell. So, so how did you process that? We can read the exact words on how it is processed. These are the words, guys. Carefully hand harvested at optimal ripeness. The cherries are initially held in open tanks for 12 hours to ensure consistency. After depulping, the beans are meticulously washed and then transferred to raised beds. Here they are dried with precision, allowing for controlled airflow and controlled exposure to the sun, ensuring a consistent and meticulous drying. So basically what we did is they depulped it and then they stuck it on this open drying rack. Um, and then there's like a fan blowing, but it's outside. We then moved the coffee the, uh, after we depulped it 
into a, a humidity controlled drying room, not a dark room or anything, but ex still exposed to the sun. You, know, you have to move the, move the greens around. But uh, what I got to do for this coffee was I got to uh, do a lot of the sorting. So after they did pulp, but there's still defects. If you look at the coffees, you'll find like, you know, some, some like darker spots and things like that. You just need to sort it out. So it's small scale, but Pepe and Jose, this was actually mainly processed by Jose. Uh, they gave us the whole lot, so about 90 kilograms of coffee. I show a defect. Oh, yeah. This is a random... Yeah, so like, this is just an example, but like, if you have, um, you know, different colored greens, and you know, if you're a roaster, you've probably seen this before, right? Those would be considered defects, and then, you know, you just want to sort them out. So this is the type of work that goes into uh, at origin before they ship it out to, um, you know, a roaster after they do like the milling and, and all of that. So pretty incredible. Um, but we got the coffee here and we're going to go and brew it now, but this is a sample roast. The production you guys should get should even be better. Uh, cause it will be roasted on this guy by uh, Liam. So it's shout outs to Liam. Um, and it'll be a fancy lower. And, run through that guy too. Yeah, and it'll be run through the Savda. It's going to be awesome. We're going to use the column now. Um, it has the super tiny paper filters. And uh, yeah, we're just letting this kind of open up because we ground it earlier, let it, if it's super fresh, you know, this was roasted on the 5th. Today is nine. nine? That's a sample roast though, so they, yeah, it should they be open up a lot quicker. They, they, they okay. open up a lot quicker. Yeah. I, I don't know if it matters, but what Ray says, <laughs> you're supposed to like, fold this thing so that it's like the Where crease the is halfway between here and this okay thing. i don't know if it matters but that's what i did all right so like here yeah, like, all and right then it goes that part goes to that yeah exactly like okay that. so we have the tiny cone and then this then fits into here correct yep. so we have this upper ring and we have this part and then I generally so it, it's kind of you have to push on it, so I like to do it not on glass. Oh, not on glass. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. And is that oh, okay. So it fits together. Yeah, they got it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. And then we probably should. Okay, it's been five minutes, so do that. Nice. So we got the nice paper filter stickage, nice. sticking like that. Okay. Okay. So then before, so now now you got to fit it so that you get a good seal. So you see how there's like a, a ledge. Mm -hmm. Here, yep. That's what you want to like to put the column on. Exactly. Oh, okay. So I like to put like a little bit of downward pressure, and then he says w to like wiggle it side to side just so you feel it. Like I do feel it on something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then he rotates it ninety, and then you, oh, or, or sorry, you rotate the whole thing ninety degrees, and then you shake it the other way. So you're kind of like settling. Okay. It so you're checking axes. the different. Okay. I it think seems I, to be good. Yeah. And then I would press press it down. Press it down. Press it down. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. You got it. All right. There we go. So we're going to try the the column. How much are these filters? Uh, I don't remember. I did like a Kickstarter. But, but nothing. Oh, you did the Kickstarter. Yeah. So am I supposed to shake it side to side at all for leveling or do I oh, use Oh, okay. The, so he says to use this. The drip. Okay. But you're right. And he says don't do a central divot. I don't know. He says just get like flat. I don't okay. know if it matters. How so far. I'm just kind of pushing it yeah, exactly. together. I guess it doesn't really matter too much because it's low by, you know, no bypass yeah, setup. Yeah, for it to go. Nice. Okay. So, so what are your pour patterns for it? Okay, this? so I did a uh, 100 gram bloom. Okay. Then I agitated a little bit. Okay. Then I heated it up to 99. And then I did 150 gram uh, bear kettle. And then after that, I did uh, 60 gram melodrip pulses times three. Okay, all right. I'll uh, guide you through. I'll guide you through. I'll guide you through. Okay. okay. So we go 100. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fresh. Fast. You just go in and are you, you're just agitating kind of yeah, side not to crazy, side. Yeah, not crazy. Yeah. Go in there. And then we'll, I think we need to let this sit for at least a minute. Oh, yeah, you can let it sit longer too. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you want. Yeah. Mm. Smell good? Yeah. Smells like a Pepe coffee. Definitely yeah. smells like a, a Pepe coffee if you want to smell it. Mm. Very like clean, floral. Tons of florals. Yeah, very floral coffee. Very delicate too. So that's the that's the thing with I, a lot of the Pepe coffees, they're, they're delicate. Um, they're not like super intense coffees. Um, 
but the interesting thing with Sidra is I think Sidra out of the varietals that he grows there or it's more dynamic but there is some of that like mintiness or like you know, ginger effect that can happen with some of those Sidras but this is hopefully a very clean I mean I know this is going to be a very clean coffee and then well at 1 30 we'll just do we just pour whatever you want yeah, yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> whatever I want 150 150 is what I do for the uh, first pour okay and then after that, I do 60 gram pulses. Okay. I'll, I'll show you. All right. So pour to 250. 250. Yep. So we get the kettle agitation. Nice. Okay. Okay. Then I put the mellow drip lip. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Should we heat up the mellow drip? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. yep. Mellow drip lift on here. Yep. And then I re tear it, and then I do basically 60, 60, and then 50. Bucks. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'll just let it drain through a little. So 50, 50, 50. Uh, 60, 60, and then 55. Okay. I let, I that, do exactly. I let that drain a little more. Drain a little bit okay. More. So, yeah, so I just, the higher uh, the column, the faster the flow. Right. So, you know, it just depends how fast you want okay. to flow. So the color looks really nice. The flow is super consistent. So there are numbers here too. Yep. So 60? Mm hmm. 60. Yep. 60. I guess you pour pretty slow for this. So you get very low agitation. Mm hmm. Does it seem like it's flowing? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it flows really nicely. Okay, good. And with the low, the low agitation, the color is going to get clearer and clearer as we extract. It's the same one to eighteen and a half. Mm -hmm. Although I think I saw it said it's 22 like twenty-two. Grams, yeah. So maybe don't pour fifty. Maybe, yeah, fifty or something. Yeah, I'll be at fifty. Yeah, yeah. We lost a gram to the EK. <laughs> Wait, so what? So this is really cool. With this whole setup, you can, you know, you can mix um, kettle agitation, physical agitation, and then the mellow drip agitation. So it's like a bunch of a bunch of control. And the flow is is always very consistent. What, what so. I what I like about it is like the pulsar has that much more of like a flat bottom profile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the column has a little bit more like that that like acidity forwardness yeah. like the pulsar is very like sweetness forward mm -hmm. it still has really beautiful acidity but this is has more acidity it's Up front, very yeah. there's a lot of acidity in it that i don't get in the pulsar mm -hmm. and you know from a conical um yeah but brewer, with, with the low but with the no, yeah, yeah, with, yeah without like the harmony and yeah and so rounding yeah so to me it's it's from a flavor perspective it's kind of the the, the brewer that combines the best of both of those yeah. brewers. But, uh, yeah, just, I think, you know, once you get used to how you set it up, it's pretty yeah. pretty easy, yeah. You just, like, push it in. Forgive it. Nope. There we go. I mean, we're, like, crazy brewers, though. I mean, I don't think this is for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like usually when right, I so see people... Careful, so, so this okay. part, it gets hot. Just touch it. Is it hot? Not really. Okay. All right. So I generally will just move the whole thing off into here. You got it? Okay. okay. Nice. All right, you're good. And then you see all the fines get uh, pushed up to the top. It's that low agitation. Ah. Right. Yeah, you just take that off. Yep. Yeah. So you kind of get like a puck. And I didn't do like the most perfect pour because we see it's slightly slanted, but that's fine. No, my, all right. Mine's already like that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, we'll let this one cool down. We'll clean it up. But here's the coffee. Look at that. Woo. First brew of the, the Pepe. Pepe Jose, Kihan, fully washed Sidra. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's check the TDS. Check to see if I'm good at brewing coffee. <laughs> of course you are. The grinds get all over the walls of the pulsar, and then like clean. It doesn't matter. Like you just, I always find dry. The color's really the nice. Grind stuff on good. the walls. Yeah, just usually with these super fresh coffee. Well, actually, for low bypass, even if it's so fresh, it should be okay. All right. I will measure. Let's also let this guy cool. 
for a little bit for now. Very exciting. Super exciting to uh, taste this. It's, yeah, it smells so clean. Super clean, floral. Let's find out the, find out what the numbers are. No, the flow was good. I think you got at least one three. Yeah, one three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One three. There you go. Yes, it'll taste good. So one three four. So this is like 23, right? Because the little ratio's lower? Uh, what, so we don't know the room mass exactly. It was like 22 Oh, yeah. -ish. Yeah, close enough. Okay, but at least it's a higher strength brew for something like this. Yeah, yeah. It should be around 21% extraction, yeah. like last time, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so same recipe as the one we did with Lost Origin. Oh, yeah. Very clean, like insanely clean, sweet. Um, yeah. It's a very lovely coffee. Nice and delicate. It is very acidity forward, this, yeah. this brewer, but very clean. I get a lot of like mango, papaya, like yellow fruit acidity. It does kind of have those de delicacies of a fruit salad, which I've been saying, because that's, <laughs> that's what the green coffee smelled like, smelled like very, very fruit salad. I'm at least brewed with the column. I'm not getting as much uh, as much of this like minty herbalness that some of the citrus have, but I'm getting you know a lot of like the dynamics that citra has. So yeah. this is a great this is a great coffee. I'm very I'm very surprised. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. What I mean, what, what do you guys think? Every you know, Pepe obviously just crushes all his coffees. So all right, so we got the brew done. What does everybody think? What do you think? You think okay. yellow fruit? From my okay. side? Like very yellow fruit. Yeah, yeah. yellow fruit. Yeah, it's a really clean, bright, shiny lemonade and definitely lots of oranges, florals. Yeah, this is a coffee I will drink for my morning, start my day. That's a beautiful coffee. Yeah, it's about re about re memorize it for the whole day. Certified Q grader opinion. That's <laughs> <laughs> good. Are you a Q grader? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yes. Yeah. cool. It's like marmalade. Mm. Very sweet, round, floral, but like not overpowering. And like sort of like pleasant acidity, but it's like I like I like this coffee. I love this brew because everything is like all together. Mm. Yeah, very harmonious, very yeah. tied together. But yeah, yeah, but with that acidity forward. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I get mango, yellow, yellow, very yellow. Mm -hmm. I like to think of when I drink coffee, the color always like it's like a a strong. So it's definitely kind of that yellow. Yeah, yellow, yellow fruit. fruit. What about you? I mean, what am I gonna say? It's sweet and floral. <laughs> it's sweet floral. Sweet and floral. It's a lot more floral than I thought it would be for a sidra. But mm. yeah, it's it's incredible. All right, cool. Well, there it is. That's uh, column plus the w w fully <laughs> washed sidra. Yeah, the, <laughs> what you guys probably came here for is for the coffee, what it tastes like, but. You know, we had the column, so we might as well play with the column. And thank you for showing us the recipes and how to use it. Uh, but yeah, look forward to this coffee for those of you guys who picked it up. Um, yeah, I think by the time this video goes out, there probably won't be any of this coffee left anymore <laughs> to purchase. But for those of you guys who get it, well, you know, this is the a sample of it, but we'll taste the production together on probably like a stream or something in the future. So thank you so much. And thanks guys for coming thanks. by and Bye. tasting the coffee. Thank you. All right, see you later. See you.